Hello, this is tutorial 2.5. In this tutorial we're going to add a second floor and then add a roof. First I'm going to hide the dimension layer which we created earlier as we don't need this at the moment. We then right click on the building and from the context menu select new floor above. If you were creating a cellar you would select new floor below. The new floor properties dialog will then activate. Here you can see you can set the rough height of the new floor. We however are interested in the transfer tab where we can select what features we want to transfer from the ground floor to the new second floor. The default is to transfer all objects, that is all windows and doors. And we will select selected so that we can choose which objects are not to transfer to the second floor. So in this case we will deselect the standard windows and doors and stairs but we will transfer just the window constructions that we've used. Click OK and the new floor is created. If you examine the project tab you will notice that a new upper floor has been created in building 1, including the unwanted dimensions layer which we shall delete. You can select and delete any unwanted object that was transferred. Note however that the internal wall layout of our upper floor is identical to that of our ground floor. We will delete these walls later so that we can create our own layout for the upper floor. We're now going to add a roof to the upper floor. The roof tools are found in the building tab. Note here that some of the uh, roof tools in this menu are not available in all versions but uh, only the premium version. However the insert roof tool that we're going to use now is available in all versions. There are several roof insertion methods that you can use. We're going to use the insert on polygonal contour where we're going to actually insert the roof on a polygon. The insert roof on selected contour will actually just add the roof to the existing wall contour. We're now going to define the roof position by inserting a polygon. The polygon will be following the path of the roof, so I will just simply click on the corner of each wall, taking care that I'm actually clicking on exactly the right spot on the wall. After the final polygon point, either right click and click on complete with enter, or just click on the enter key. The roof properties dialog will then activate. As you can see, this is quite a complex dialogue, possibly the most complex dialogue in the whole of Visual Building. For now, we'll cover just the basic essentials to enter a roof. Click on the 3D button to get a 3D preview of the roof. You can then resize this window to have a better view. For now, we're just going to accept the defaults and press OK. Based on these defaults, the roof construction is calculated and inserted. Looks like I missed a window here. I can simply select it and then press delete. I now want to continue editing my roof. To do so, I select the roof and then double click it. This will again activate the Roof Construction Properties dialog. I now want to convert Roof Side 6 into a gable end. I can either select the Roof Side 6 in the tree or double click on the roof surface in the 3D preview. From the Roof Profile drop down list, I can select Gable, which will assign the gable end to the Roof Side 6. I'll now repeat this and assign a gable to roof size 3. To see these changes in our project we must select OK and return to the project and we'll see that the roof becomes automatically updated with the changes. We'll notice a hole in our gable and this is because the floor to ceiling height was set to 2.8 meters but obviously the pitch of the roof is a lot higher we can either increase the floor to ceiling height to a height equal to the pitch or we can insert a new floor level, an attic. We'll do the latter. So to insert the attic, right click on the building and from the context menu select new floor and we'll call this the attic. Select OK and you see that the attic is added. For this style of house the eaves overhang is too large both on the side walls and also the gable wall so now we're going to edit the eaves overhang which I believe is currently set to 0.5 meter. So 
So for each wall side, I shall edit the 0 0.5 meter to, for this example, let's put this to 0 0.1 meter. If I was wanting to change the pitch of this roof side, this is where I'd enter the pitch value. We're going to keep all our pitches to 45. As I mentioned before, you can select each wall side either using the 3D view or the entry in the roof construction tree. These changes aren't transferred to our project until we select OK and exit the dialog. We have some unwanted purlins and rafters exposed beyond the gable wall, so now we're just going to edit these. To do that we must return to our roof editor. First we'll activate the 3D preview window and then select roof side 6, which is our gable wall. To edit the gable end properties of the selected gable end, select the gable end details in the properties tree. And so to hide the purlin, we need to put a value greater than zero in the field visible if overhang is greater than. Right, we still have a ridge pearl in showing and we can remove that by doing the following. Right, we now want to change the type of the eaves that we have and to do that we use the eaves details in our roof construction properties. In this dialog, we can select from four different types of eaves. So that concludes our introduction into the roof designer. Thank you.